Right, what's up YouTube so today I have a video about getting picked up by elite one his name is Exo Fredo he's actually a really goaded big man I think he also plays guard but I was trying to find teammates in stage and he came up sent me a squad invite so I accepted it and we got to play in some stage together before he had to get off now if you're like me I don't really have too many people to play with I have a lot of people on my friends list but I probably play with at least only five of them out of maybe like 300 people so if you actually want to play you play bigger log hit me up Especially for 22 when it comes out, I'm going to need more teammates. So slowly we got another teammate horse MVPs on 88 build. And first, really, I wasn't going to do much more content for 2K21 current gym because I don't really have the most fun on it. And I'm hella rusty if you really watch this gameplay. I'm really rusty in this gameplay, but I just decided to do it for y'all. I'm about to lock in. Really trying to post at least minimum two to three times a week. And I'm going to stream for y'all too as well when 2K22 drops. So just know if you want. The best dribble moves, the best builds, everything day one. Just come pop in on my stream on Twitch. It's the same as my username that you see right there. Robo Squeezy, Robo Squeeze, whatever you want to call me. You know, I'm the uh, one of the co-leaders of this new clan we got out. It's called, uh, it's called, <laughs> it's OHC, O-Head Clan. All right, it's just laughing matter, it's just jokes. But if you above 20 in the community, as you know, we all O-Heads. To these little kids, we're O-Heads in this community. Which is funny, I just turned 26. I'm above 25 now. But in this community, I've been ca being called old head since I was probably 20 years old. All right, so that's just the way it goes in this community. These kids are probably like 12 to 16 who play the game mostly. Especially in stage, you're going to hear this a lot. Go to rec, go do this, go take your kids. I don't got no kids, man. But so yeah, I got picked up by these, by this uh, center in this lock. And we just started running. And you see my drum moves you're gonna see i'm really rusty in this gameplay but i have a lot of good news for 2k22 they said it's gonna be more similar to 2k20 type of dribble style which i mean i think what they're meaning by that look 50 but i think what they're meaning by that is like the dribble move so when i'm say by that i mean like the peaks that used to be in 2k20 they were in 2k21 but you just they weren't as obvious because you no one did regular dribble moves so the peaks and probably the um and they're talking about the right stick how you flick it instead of holding it for curry which I think is better for combo wise, but we'll see when it drops. Hopefully there's some more drip moves. Hopefully they got rid of some of the crap like the Pro 2 up court. But I do like the um, Hezzy between the leg and the Hezzy from 2K20. If they add some more drip moves with it and maybe let you do drip moves back. Like on this game, how you can do a double big behind the back. Or you can double crab, all that. And that's a good shot by him. But I'm really hoping they bring drip moves like that back in, into this game. And it makes it more skill based but they need to nerf screen some so it's not necessarily um the big just getting you open all the time another shot another full bar yeah so hopefully they make it balance where any play style you can win with any play style instead of just a meta like you see us doing right here where you just got to use a screen to try to get threes all game which is actually pretty easy to beat on 21 current gen if, if you can shoot and you have a build that can finish a little bit like a scoring machine or a slasher with sharp take and you're actually like that you can beat that lineup really easily if you're hall of fame showtime and you play with two locks because boom you just literally dunk or and if you can shoot and it opens up so much more possibilities you see yad's video videos he's going crazy on them build like an 81 three ball i think 82 three ball maybe but yeah he's going crazy like that you see this spin back it tries to help i try dot and corner we miss it but the center gets the board he goes out and boom, paws on his head. So yeah, he's pretty good center. He was getting rebounds when I was missing. I was selling a lot, and I'm gonna keep selling for the next couple days just because I'm really rusty at this game. So not so really, I'm just gonna only gonna play lock when I'm playing with Yah, just because of that fact. As I'm just, I'm not trying to relearn this dribble system again because I've been playing 2K20. Because I'm just, that's what real dribbling is, you know. I mean, not just side to side like you have driven like 19 maybe they'll bring some of that back but i don't think so i think they're just going on wanting to be like uh i like the way 2k20 dribbles connects i think that's what they're doing as he almost got a steal and we're down 9-5 already that probably would have sealed game but that's what i'm hoping for no more speed boost glitch you actually had a dribble to get it open that's what makes it, that's what i'm used to so that's why you see me not shooting some of these open shots is because i'm not used to like getting open off a of speed boost glitch i'm i'm open used to getting open off of actual comboing up like doing some hezzy in between leg crab or this that and running peekaboo step back 
or taking a midi. That's what I'm really used to. I'm not used to this B boost glitching again. But you see, Lockdown's finally doing his thing too as well. Like he's only 88 overall, so I didn't really I understand why he gets bopped on this one play. You're gonna see soon. But boom, I take the easy flush just because it, the big just playing me up so high. If I would have had enough IQ right there, I probably could have got that three off. Like I could have stopped right on that wing instead of going all the way in. But I wasn't gonna do a spin back game because they were gonna expect that. At this point, we're losing this game slowly on me just because I'm missing my shots. It's 20% coverage, this, that. But you see, I, I, I normally make those all day long. I just haven't been on this game for the past month. And that's all on me. This is my fault that we're down. No excuses, just me. If I try crabbing them, boom. Big behind the back, I should have shot it right there, but I was trying to get more open because I'm not used to being how you can shoot right in people's faces in this game. So boom, I just throw the lob because I know I was getting out of energy. I was probably miss again if I really went for that shot. I just can't wait for something new. I don't know about y'all. I'm tired of this game. Really am. Because <clears throat> it's just like, in this game, it, it, what takes the... It takes the least, he made us white, but what takes the most amount of uh, skill in this game is that just watch the way me and him are dribbling right through people. Like, you, you shouldn't be able to do this type of stuff. At least I'm kind of moving around, not dribbling straight through him. And, uh, but he takes a bow flush. What takes the least amount of skill in this game is the fact that they can literally, it's no bumps, it's really hard to get bump steals. Like, if this was like any other 2K, some of these plays where you see, like if you see me playing with y'all and you see me like that, those are steals. That's a bump steal all day, but he gets the bop of the, one of the, like a bop of the year right here. Boom, boom, boom. Three big behind the back, quick stop. Boom. All props to you, bro. You did your thing, no lie. Salute to you. I'm not finna sit here and say, talk down about another play. You see, I make his hot, hot look better than all mine because that was really good. I could have got stolen right there, but yeah, he did a really good thing, man. But this is what happens when you don't, I, I green it, but this is what happens in this game when you, you don't have a zen is like you're gonna struggle some games you can't just green every shot most people still use e-scripts really down on the low like i know people that have the e-scripts still in the well they're not gonna admit it to most people and he finally read that big behind the back and got a steal for us clutches the game for us so yeah they're not really most people really do i should have shot that right there but i was trying to crab and i had stick drift but that's the difference in this game you'll see some people you'll go against some people they will not miss and it's not because they're a goaded ass shooter. It's because they got that E script. And sometimes the E script does miss. That's why some games you see them shoot a lot of slightly late or things of that nature. It's not just because they're a goaded player and they're never missing. So this I really want to try to get a three right here. <clears throat> so you see I stop at half court, momentum crab. Boom, green. So I got the game tied up 17-17. I put and I got sharp take, and I'm just gonna trust the defense right here. Hopefully they don't give up a three, just because of fact, you know, see I try blitzing right there. I don't, we'll see what happens, because 17-17 games could go either way still right now. He probably had that shot if he would've took it, but when we get a clutch steal, I'm trusting our defense, because I mean, they've done, been doing pretty good, and I got sharp take, so I'm not really worried if they give up the um, three ball right here. But this dude, Declusions, I think his name, he did his thing, man. He's doing his thing. But some of the stuff should not be allowed to happen. Like this right here, those are steals. When you're getting double teamed like that, that should be Trapper or something. He gets the ankle break and runs the same way that he broke him. Green Bean makes it 2019. Now it's going to be really tough for me to get this dub because you already know. Boom, almost get it stolen. That could have been game right there. Fredo picks it back up. That could have been game right there. But it's going to be real hard for me to get this off just because of the fact that Watch the way they play me. They're gonna double team me full court. And I'm messing up my combos because I am rusty. Taking me off a place where I can't go. Fouls me again. <clears throat> and as you can tell, like they dubbed me, so they must be in a party together. They must know each other. You got get what I'm saying? Cause I don't know these dudes at all. Of course, MVP and Fredo. I play with I'm afraid to play with Fredo now. He's pretty goaded, bro. No cap. But I'm trying to get it. I can't get it. They get a trap animation. I pass it back. He about to go up with it, boom. Gets it to me, am I gonna make the shot? Let's find out. I just run and fade it, cause like, you ain't got much else to do. And it's a green, and that's game. And that's game, so we end up winning 22 to 20. Big shout out to Fredo and Horse MVP for running with me on stage. Um, I really need more teammates like that, just in general. 
to play with on this game until 22 drops and then on 22 on next gen and current and depending on which game i'll be on i'm gonna drop content for both y'all just for the sake if you're not if you don't have next gen or don't have current gen i mean so i'm gonna drop content for both generations so y'all can be there and show support for that but like and subscribe if you haven't already i really appreciate y'all showing me support until next time appreciate y'all